Hello everyone, in this video we are going to see how to use AWS RDS with MySQL Workbench and Flask. So I have created this form where, where when the user uh, enters all the details it will be stored in a MySQL table. Alright, so let's fill the form now. Click on submit. So the form was submitted and you can see the details at the bottom. Let's go to our SQL table and see if our uh, data was stored or not. So as you can see, our data was stored. Now let's look at the RDS, AWS RDS and MySQL connection part. So as you can see, I have a database created. Right now we will create another database now. So this is what uh, will pop up first. Click on MySQL. You can use our other uh, databases also. Make sure you click uh, you check this uh, checkbox so that you uh, use the free usage tier only. Click on next. We will keep the default uh, changes here. Go down, enter your DB instance name, hacker shrine and your username and password so the username is admin password will be admin admin and from password click on next uh, make sure public accessibility is yes go down enter your database name so the database name will be hacker shrine test the port is 3306 go down uh, the backup retention period let's make it zero keep everything the way it is and we'll click on create database so it says your database instance has been created let's look at that now so I have two databases now so as you can see here, we do not have an endpoint and port to connect it with our MySQL workbench. All right. So to uh, make to create an endpoint, what you do is you go in your security tab and click on this link. You will be redirected to your EC2 console. Here you need to change your inbound rules. So click on edit. And as you can see, the source is custom. So make sure to change this to anywhere and you, you need to add another rule. So the rule that you need to add is HTTP. All right. So click on this and make sure this source is also anywhere. And after that, you have to click on save rules. So I've already done this for my earlier database. So I'm not going to do it again. So make sure you save it and then go back to your RDS. Okay, I'll click on cancel and go back. So when you do that, you will get an endpoint and a port. So when you do that, you will get an endpoint. So copy this endpoint, control C. Now go to a MySQL workbench. We'll create a new connection now. Uh, name your connection. And test in the host name you have to enter the endpoint that you just copied the username was admin if you remember we stored it over there and now we'll test our connection so it says successfully made a skill connection all right so you need to enter the password also right now i have the password already stored in my vault that's why it did not ask me but you have to enter the password as well all right click on ok ok and you have created your database connection with RDS on your MySQL workbench. All right. So uh, the name of the database was, so as I'm using my previous uh, endpoint, I have uh, the name of the database was uh, test. 
and in that I have a uh, details column as well all right so that's it for this video in the next video I'll show you the code part and how we can use flask with our MySQL workbench that we have connected with our AWS RDS thank you